Hello and welcome to the second part of chapter 12. In this part we will explore ethnicity and the influence of media and technology on adolescent development. Enjoy! Ethnicity is based on cultural heritage, nationality, characteristics, race, religion and language. A striking feature of North American classrooms is the increasing diversity of adolescents and emerging adults. Relatively high rates of immigration are contributing to the growth in the proportion of ethnic minority adolescents. Immigrants often experience one or more of these stressors. Recent research increasingly shows links between eco acculturation and adolescent problems. So, when working with adolescents and their immigrant families, counselors need to adapt intervention programs to optimize cultural sensitivity. One study found that more acculturate, uh, more acculturate Latino youth in the U.S. experience higher risk of conduct problems substance abuse, depression, and risky behaviors than their less acculturate counterparts. For ethnic minority adolescents and emerging adulthood often re represent a special juncture in their development. Although children are aware of some ethnic and cultural differences, most ethnic minority individuals forced to consciously confront their ethnicity in adolescence. Recent research indicates that many members of families that have recently immigrated to the United States adopt a bicultural orientation, selecting characteristics of the U.S. culture that help them to survive and advance, while still retaining aspects of their culture of origin. Ethnicity and SES can interact in ways that exaggerate the influence of ethnicity because ethnic minority individuals are overrepresented in the lower socioeconomic status. Middle SES ethnic minority youth are still subject to much of the predators, discrimination, and bias associated with being a member of an ethnic minority group. Often characterized as a model minority because of their strong achievement orientation and family cohesiveness, Japanese Americans still experience stress associated with ethnic minority status. Historical, economic, and social experiences produce legitimate differences among and between various ethnic groups. Recognizing and respecting the differences are important aspects of getting along with others in the diverse world of today. Another important dimension of ethnic minority adolescents and emerging adults is their diversity. For most of the 20th century, the ways ethnic minority groups differed from the majority were conceptualized as deficits or inferior characteristics. Prejudice is an unjustified negative attitude toward an individual because of the individual membership in a group. The group toward which the prejudice is directed can be made up of people of a specific ethnic group, sex, religion or other detectable difference. Research studies provide insight into the discrimination experienced by ethnic minority adolescents. Discrimination of 7 to 10 great African American students has been related to their lower level of psychological functioning. Chinese American 6th graders experienced discrimination from their peers that was comparable to discrimination faced by African American 6th graders. Latino adolescents encounter more discrimination than do Asian American adolescents, and African American adolescents perceive personal racial discrimination that was linked to their higher level of delinquency. 
To better understand various aspects of U.S. adolescents' media use, the Kaiser Family Foundation funded three national surveys and documented that adolescent media use has increased dramatically in the last decade. If the amount of time spent in an activity is an indication of its importance, there is no doubt that media play important roles in adolescent lives. A major trend of the use of technology is the dramatic increase in media multitasking. Mobile media such as cell phone, iPad, iPods are mainly driven the increased media used by adolescents. Gender and ethnicity influence media use, for example, girls spend more time than boys do on social networking sites and listening to music, and boys spend more time playing video games. Television can have positive or negative effects on adolescent development. TV can have positive influence by presenting motivational educational programs. However, TV can also have negative influence on adolescents by making them passive learners, distracting them from doing their homeworks. In a longitudinal study, it has been found that the amount of violence viewed on TV at age 8 was significantly related to the seriousness of criminal acts performed as an adult. These investigations were correlational, however, watching TV violence can be associated with aggressive behavior. Viewing educational TV as preschoolers was associated with higher grades, reading more books, and less aggression, especially for boys in adolescence. Children and adolescents who extensively play violent electronic games are more aggressive, less sensitive to real-life violence, more likely to engage in delinquent acts, more likely to get lower grades in school. Watching television sex can influence adolescents' sexual attitude and behavior. A special concern is that parents and teachers are often uncomfortable to discussing sex and that results in the absence of competing information intensifying television's role in imparting information about sex. To date, no cause and effect studies exist to link either music or videos to an increased risk or early drug use. However, certain music do provide behavioral marker for psychological problems and a recent study also revealed that higher use of music was related to viewing the self as less physically attractive and having overall low self-esteem. The new information society still relies on some basic technological competencies that adolescents need to develop. However, how these young people pursue these competencies is being challenged and extended in ways to a speed unknown to previous generations. Special concerns have emerged about children and adolescents' access to information on the Internet and regarding peer bullying and harassment on the Internet. Recent research found that approximately one of three adolescents self-disclose better online than in person and boys report that they feel more comfortable self-disclosing online than do girls. Social networking sites such as Facebook are not secure in protecting private information and parents' high estimate of online dangers are not matched by their low rates of setting limits and monitoring their adolescent online activities. Adolescents are exposed to an expanding array of media that carry messages that shape their judgment and behavior. The following policy initiatives were recommended by the Carnegie Council on Adolescent Development. That's the end of our second part of Chapter 12. We hope that we have helped you learn it a little better. Thank you.